to just 10 officers. Reports say that a defund the police mindset has torn their division apart. There were 181 homicides in that city in just the first six months of this year, the highest numbers that they have seen in more than 15 years. There's the data laid out for you on exactly what's happening in Los Angeles. Joe Concha, Fox News contributor and the Hill Media and Politics columnist, joins me now. Joe, uh, it, it's very interesting. You know, when you look at this situation unfolding in Los Angeles, you think about the fact that Gavin Newsom is considered one of the um, potential uh, nominees in a list of, uh, in a short list for the Democratic nomination if Joe Biden doesn't run. Yeah. Uh, California has been in a very tough, tough shape. Uh, exactly, Martha, and good to see you. Uh, it, we, you. We keep hearing how Gavin Newsom could be a serious presidential contender, and, and particularly if Joe Biden decides not to seek a second term. But uh, to your point, you look at California and you hear about crime skyrocketing. You see the numbers you just put up on the screen, plus homelessness skyrocketing. Uh, it, you know, in places like uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles, you have whole tent cities that are forming, and there's been a major exodus of people and companies, for that matter, out of California for states like Texas. And I just wonder, what record does Gavin Newsom run on? I mean, what's his slogan? Vote for me, I'll turn America into California? I I'm sorry, I don't think that'll resonate very well. The guy's got nice hair and he's younger, and obviously that, that could be appealing, I guess, to a media that values sizzle over steak. But w when you look at what's going on in California and the way they conduct themselves in terms of cutting police forces as murder rates rise... There's just no logic to it. No, it, I mean, it's, it's actually a very scary national security problem when you look at how many police officers have left the force. And they're leaving yeah. the cities across this country in a position where you're just not as safe as you used to be. Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez running into some head, headwinds on this issue as well. Uh, Fox Digital went out and asked people what they thought about the emphasis away from police that's drawing them away from the force in droves. Watch this. No, you can't defund the police. I don't think it's a good idea to defund the police, especially if we're, there's 50% crime going up. I mean, I think we need more police in the area. There needs to be another solution that needs to be brought up for um, issues going on like crime in the city. Analysis by a former NYPD officer shows crime in her district is on the rise. 57% spike in AOC's district in what they call major crimes and a 44% surge in major felonies. Um, it's an issue, to be sure, as we look towards the midterm show. Speaking of sizzle over steak, uh, with AOC, we rarely, almost never hear her talk about crime unless it's about defunding the police, which is still a stance that she takes, and, and a lot of Democrats have ran from that. Uh, she is not. And look, we see it uh, every day, Martha. C criminals are more and more brazen because they see a record number of police officers retiring even before they get their full pensions because the jobs have become too stressful and they're tired of being portrayed. They, they used to be heroes, right? And you, you want to grow up and be a fireman or police officer uh, that, that protect and serve the community, and now they're the bad guys who must be vilified. But as long as district District attorneys like Alvin Bragg in Manhattan aren't fired for not doing their jobs, or governors like Kathy Hochul in New York, who continue to support these ridiculous bail laws that get criminals back out into the street so they could go and hurt or even kill people again. We remember what happened with Daniel Enriquez, Goldman Sachs, he's just going home from his job in the subway. A man walks up to him and shoots him dead. He was mm -hmm. out on bail and he was awaiting charges for assault. That person should not be on the streets. Yet, as long as these people are in charge and we keep voting these people in. Uh, it's just going to continue, unfortunately, and police are, are tired of doing their jobs, and then the back end prosecuting isn't happening, and, and that's a big, big problem as we're seeing in New York, Martha. Indeed. Uh, I want to ask you about this topic as well, as the liberal media continues sure. to blast Trump supporters following the raid on the former president's Florida state this week. One Washington Post op-ed suggesting that Republicans are using Trump's struggles to rally voters. The piece says this. Quote, and right now, with investigations potentially closing in on Trump from different directions, they've honed in on a vital message. Quote, this isn't about Trump, it's about you. Your thoughts, Joe? Well, look, if you're a Trump supporter, you probably have the right 
to be skeptical in these situations, to be suspicious here when you, when you see a raid conducted in the manner that this was with the flashing lights and dozens of agents going in for nine and a half hours to a former president's home. We've never seen this before. Uh, because given what we saw with the Mueller investigation and its conclusion, which Democrats obviously didn't move on, they would have impeached if they could have, they could have found anything to latch on to, and obviously they couldn't find the collusion they were looking for there. In terms of what we saw with the Steele dossier, it was presented as gospel by most of the media and Instead of the gossip rag that it was, or the Russian bounty story on U.S. troops, and Trump did nothing about it because he's a Russian stooge. I could go on and on, but when all these stories go in one direction, you sit back and you see something like this happen down at Mar-a-Lago, and you could see why, if you're a Trump supporter, you want to wait for more facts to come in before you jump to any conclusions, and, and I hope that a lot more people do that here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Joe, thank you very much. Joe Concha. Have a good weekend. You Take too. Care. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.